Hello everyone, we've met again. Today we are going to talk about Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is one of the character that appears in the novel Journey to the West. Wukong proclaimed himself as the Monkey King. He was born in Huaguo Mountain, a stone monkey bred by absorbing the aura of heaven and earth, the essence of the sun and the moon, and the exposure to the wind and the sun. Wukong didn't have any weapons in the beginning until he gets the Rui Golden Cudgel from the East China Sea Dragon Palace. He went to the underworld and found the Book of Life and Death. He then used the power of the book to make himself and the monkeys gain eternal life. But his actions alerted the heavens. The Jade King of the Heavens recruited Wukong and grant him the name Bai Mon. Wukong was very happy at first, but when he learned that he was appointed at a low rank, he felt he was humiliated and returned to Huaguo Mountain in anger. Later he proclaimed himself as Qi Qian Da Shen, meaning the sage as powerful as the heavens. Then Li Jing the king of Tota launched a crusade against Wukong under the order of the Jade King, but he was defeated by Wukong. The same result goes to Ni Jia as well, forcing the Jade King to acknowledge to his proclaimed title, and built a mansion in the Heaven Palace, called the Pantau Garden, and grant him the power to govern it. Not long after, the Mother Queen held a peach festival, and invited the seven fairies to the peach garden. Wukong on the other hand, after learning that he wasn't invited to the peach festival, he stole all of the peaches at the garden, and interrupted the participants in the festival. Then the Divine Court surrounded, Huaguo Mountain for the second time with their armies, and this time Wukong was defeated by Erlang Shen, and escorted back to the Divine Court, to face his sentence of his crimes. However, all kinds of demons slaying magic arts were useless, against Wukong, so Tian Shang Laojin took Wukong to Dushue Palace, and put him into the Bagua Furnace for alchemy, but Wukong managed to achieve the ability, of Great Eyesight, and escaped from the furnace after 7,749 days, and he rebelled against the heaven, facing the divine armies and generals alone. But he was once again defeated by the heavens. This time he was defeated by Tathgata Buddha, and he was placed under the Wuzi Mountain as punishment. But before the Buddha left, he told Wukong that there will be a person to rescue him after 500 years. And Tang Seng came to rescue him, after 500 years, just as the Buddha told Wukong. And under the guidance of Guanxian Buddha, Wukong followed Tang Seng's journey to the west, to learn Buddhist scriptures, and defeat demons on the way to protect Tang Seng. And that's all about the Monkey King, Sun Wukong. If you like this video, remember to slap that like button, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to follow our social media as well. For more contents like this, links are in the description. Thanks for watching.